that a lot of people view that if psychic phenomena were real, it's actually quite frightening mm -hmm. because suddenly uh, secrets, which you may not want to reveal, mm -hmm. or secrets you have locked in a safe somewhere, they're no longer secret. I'm a long, long way from being enlightened, whatever that means, but I'm not as badly deluded as I used to be 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or at least you would like to believe. <laughs> or so I believe, right? And I, and I have to watch that belief closely. Uh, my first near-death experience in 1970, when I was enveloped, in the classic sense, enveloped by the white light, I was absolutely sure that I had met God. Welcome to Expanding on Consciousness, insightful and sometimes surprising conversations with scientists and practitioners about the many disciplines and aspects of consciousness in all of its forms. I'm your host, Mark Serto. You brought up a, a really great point. You know, when you hear about this experience that I'm calling channeling. There's so many different terms. Right. And, you know, these terms have been around for over a hundred years now. I mean, parapsychology has been looking at this for 150 years now. Brought to you by the Monroe Institute, a world leader in the scientific exploration of consciousness. If I could be tremendously honest about it, I'd lean with my concept of what unconditional love is, okay, okay. where no reward whatsoever is expected from it. Me and my guests invite you to listen, learn, and apply new ways of thinking and feeling about what it means to be interconnected conscious beings. We are looking at um, a phenomenon where structure is added to a completely random system. We are structuring the chaos. Some people say we are reducing the entropy. Subscribe to Expanding on Consciousness wherever you get your podcasts. New episodes drop every Tuesday, starting June 14th. And that is mind-blowing. It is mind-blowing. We welcome you to the conversation.